Hello and welcome to Afro News South Africa. If you're joining for the first time, kindly subscribe and share this video. South Africa has moved to level 3 lockdown on Sunday night and a slew of significant changes has been revealed. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section if you would love to see these changes being much implemented. At long last, South Africa has got some good news to digest this Sunday evening. Perhaps the address was a little too late in the evening for some citizens but it was certainly worth waiting. COVID-19 numbers are falling and with that, some big changes to our lockdown laws have been announced. We are now moving to level 3. During this latest family meeting, President Cyril Ramaphosa seemed a little less on edge than his previous briefing. Two weeks ago, he was straddled with the twin stress of rising COVID-19 case numbers and a potential insurgency. Just 14 days later, both threats have subsided. Substantially, serial held and turned around the pandemic fortunes. New COVID-19 cases for Sunday dipped below 10,000 again, reaching 9,718 in the past 24 hours. Now, as of concerns the number of people who is passing away, well, it has greatly dropped with 287 fatalities recorded. The recovery rate of COVID-19 stands at an impressive 90.8 with active cases making up almost all of the remainder. Over 6.384 million jobs have been delivered in South Africa so far. It's getting and looking better. Moments ago, Ramaphosa revealed what a move into three lockdown would mean for South Africans. He gave us updates on the school calendar, liquor restrictions, and even made a big announcement about personal movements. Interprovincial travel can resume to and from Quartem. Gyms, bars, and restaurants can open again. Gathering indoors are back up to 50 people again. Gathering outdoors can stretch up to more than 100 people at level 3 lockdown. And of course, will open be on 26 July. On Sunday, South Africans were alerted to Ramaphosa's plans to address the nations. The address follows the meeting of National Coronavirus Command Council, the President Coordinating Council, and the Cabinet. As South Africa rolls out its vaccination programs, government and social partners are monitoring COVID 19 infection and patient recovery rates, as well as compliance with health regulations and other prevention measures. Thanks for watching this video until the end. Please leave your thoughts down below.